with the way that uh, Kerry's feeling, when do you decide whether or not he's your guy tomorrow night? Well, you know, he's feeling better right now. And, uh, you know, we, we, it's, it's, it's to ask uh, an awful lot of him. You know, he threw nine innings on Wednesday, then again came back and pitched the championship game on Sunday. So, uh, plus, he pit, you know, he's getting over about a strep throat as well. So, he's uh, on the road to recovery. He's, he's feeling very well right now. And uh, right now our plan is to start him, but we're going to see how he feels over the next 24 hours. But you know, the, the young man is he's probably our, the most con well-conditioned athlete on our campus. He's uh, he thrives in these situations, and uh, he's got the heart of a warrior. So uh, hopefully he'll be good to go tomorrow. How much has he meant to you guys just this season in general and getting you guys to this region? Well, obviously, you know, he's been our sort of our bell cow every Friday night uh, that's led our pitching staff. And, you know, he's a great story because he, he played shortstop for us for his first three years, and then we, you know, we decided we really needed him to be a starting pitcher, and he, you know, all pitchers, they like to be hitters, they like to hit, so it was a tough, you know, I think a tough transition for him because he likes playing, like to play every day, but he, he was coach, I'll do whatever's best for the team, and he took that role and, and ran with it, and he's a great teammate, a great leader, and obviously, you know, the success he's had, he's, he's set the tone for us just about every weekend. At what point did you know that he could be such a dominant pitcher? Was it, it was it when he was playing shortstop, or was it not until this year? Well, we actually recruited him as a pitcher, and in his freshman year, about seven or eight games in our shortstop was struggling, and uh, he played shortstop in high school, and we put him out there uh, to give him a shot. And lo and behold, I think he had ten home runs as a freshman, and was probably our best defender. So then we, we really couldn't take him out of that role. And then uh, we finally have a young man, Chris Rio Pedre, a South Florida kid came in that could really defend. We felt pretty comfortable that he could take over there. So it was just a natural progression to move him to that starting role. Uh, now you, you feel good having him uh, expected to be on the mound considering your task. You're playing Vanderbilt on their home field tomorrow night. I mean, that's not exactly a fun part. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, obviously, we have our hands full tomorrow evening and, and for the entire weekend. But I always feel good when number two's out there. He's, uh, like I said, he's got part of a warrior. He's going to give us a chance to win. I mean, he's a, he's a great competitor, but boy, he's extremely talented young man too, and, and, and he's got an opportunity to beat anybody in the country. In saying that, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's amazing uh, the kind of year that Vanderbilt's had and how consistent they've been the entire season. You just don't run through an SEC season like that and not have an extremely talented ball, play, ball club. So I'm very familiar with Coach Corbin. I've known him for a long time, and he's done a tremendous job here, and they've got tremendous players. So we, we know it's a it's sort of a David versus Goliath uh, matchup, but our guys are excited. We have tough kids in our program, and uh, I expect them to play well. What did you say to Kerry about facing this Vanderbilt lineup, and what does he have to do to be successful tomorrow night? Well, you know, he, he's just, we, we, we've got to play to our identity. We can't, we, we can't step outside of ourselves, and that's a key for tomorrow for us is, is to be ourselves and, and, and play our style. And our styles are very similar from offensive standpoint. And for him in particular, we got to throw strikes, and we got to make routine plays, and then we got to get some timely hits. And if, and if we can do that, uh, that's the recipe for success, and, and that's what we got to do tomorrow night. Definitely throw strikes and make those routine plays. What's Kerry's best pitch? Uh, is he more a fastball guy, or has he got? Uh... Well, he throws four pitches. Uh, he's going to run his fastball anywhere from you know 89 to 93. He's got a, you know about 83 mile an hour slider. He's got a, a very good curveball, and then he's got a really dominant changeup that's, that's really come on of late. So he throws four pitches for strikes at any time. That, that gives him a chance to be successful. He's ranked eighth in the nation, stolen bases at four out of the five top stolen base leaders in the SEC. Um, does that concern you at all that they're them on the bases? Oh, of course. You know, we, we've got to control their leadoff guys every inning, and uh, it doesn't matter who they are. They got a lot of guys that can run, and uh, you know they, you know. Once you look at their stat sheets, it's almost like video game numbers. They've, they've been so successful. So uh, I quit looking at them, uh, and I've watched a lot of video on them, and it's sort of like pinball baseball. I mean, they are on the go, and they try to force you into mistakes. So we got to keep our poise and understand that they're going to run and try to put pressure on us. And, we, you know, it's going to be a great test for our young kids to see if we can we can handle that pressure. But, of course, yeah, we got to try to slow them down and not give them free bases and try to make them earn everything that they get. And looking at your numbers, I see you guys like to run a little bit too. Is that part of your game plan? And, and do you feel like, just in general, I think all four teams run quite a bit. You think that's gonna be a big part of this regional? Well, I think so. Uh, but I think when you get to this time of year, it, it is about pitching and defense. You know, the bats sort of, uh, uh, you know, they sort of equalize the the power numbers. I think it's it's about this time of year pitching and defense, and you know, making those routine plays and executing. And that's what it's going to come down to, I think, in all 16 regions. 
And you guys are used to turf, so that's one thing that uh, you don't have to get used to. Yeah, it's very, very similar. So we've played, you know, obviously our park is, is brand new. It's got the same surface, and we've played on it a bunch. So it's, it's a beautiful ballpark. It's gorgeous here, and, and it's going to be a great atmosphere. And I'm excited to see our kids uh, perform in this atmosphere. It's going to be electric.